First off, no, this isn't a review of that awesome Disney movie of the same name. The cover for the Spanish Netflix film Sky High or Hasta el Cielo looks like it could be a cross between Drive and one of the Fast and the Furious movies, which I understand could be a very good or a very bad thing. I watched it. Should you? After falling for a girl, Angel, a young man from the outskirts of Madrid, dives into a world of heists and becomes the target of a ruthless detective. So this originally came out in Spain in 2020 and has now arrived on Netflix as one of their films. It stars Miguel Aran from Money Heist and Luis Tazar from se just several movies that have come out recently on Netflix. Aran stars as Angel, who we get the sense that he's just getting by. He works as a mechanic, but he doesn't live in a great area, and he longs for more, but he also detests the rich, which is probably more due to the widening divide between rich and poor than any particular individual. Angel gets wrapped up with some sketchy people, and that then begins his journey into a life of crime. We get the sense that he's fairly intelligent at planning out heists because the heists that he does do seem to be well thought out and near foolproof. There's a little excitement that is built in as the heists are underway, but not enough where I ever felt on the edge of my seat with tension or suspense. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that there are a lot of continuity and timing issues. Scenes end and then jump to another scene, feeling very disconnected, even though the dialogue is trying to tie it all together. And I was actually having a lot of trouble figuring out what the point of the movie was. As the scenes progress, I don't really know where the story is going and then why I should care. And there is some conflict that is trying to be built, especially between Angel and several different characters, but none of it really makes sense or is compelling enough for me to feel invested. And we see Angel having difficulties with several different parties. One or two of them kind of make sense because of the back and forth relationship that has grown, but others just seem to come right out of the blue. Even the relationship, and if you can call it that, between Angel and the cop feels odd. And I'm not saying they're buddy-buddy. It's a good guy versus bad guy type of scenario, but we never get to understand why the cop is so obsessed. And Angel himself, he's hard to like as a protagonist. He's charismatic, but he makes so many decisions that made him just despicable to me. And many of the motivations in this aren't clear either. Is it greed? Is it pride? Or is it an effort to impress somebody? He's also playing so many sides that he can't keep them straight. But more importantly, he keeps making choices that are just really counterproductive to what we believe is his main goal. And then at one point during the movie, it becomes sort of just this machismo thing. Who can strut the biggest and show that they're the baddest? It was just an odd, it, out of the blue. Then we have Luis Tussar. He's intimidating and intense for his part, but unfortunately he's barely in this. He's supposed to be a menacing force, but because of how little impact he has on the movie, the story doesn't give him that chance. The whole story is jumbled, rushed, and really stunted. It's like they had a four hour story to tell, but only had the budget for two, so they had to make story choices, and they chose wrong. At times, Angel is in prison, and then he's out, then he's in and out, and there's no explanation on how he's released. There's just too much bouncing around with the story. And the only theme that I can find with this story is a young man who's tired of being poor and seeing others get rich, so he does things to change his financial circumstances. So even though the story isn't executed well, the performances are decent. I think the downfall of this movie is the writing, directing, and editing, which then can make the performances seem weaker than they are. Overall, I'd skip this one. It had some decent potential, but for being a 121 minute movie, they didn't put together something that is enjoyable or memorable. There is sex, nudity, a lot of profanity, and some brutal violence. I give Sky High two out of five couches. So what are you watching right now? Anything awesome? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.